Vibe Show 97.9. Man, it is going down. Happy Friday to everybody. Y'all already know what time it is. It's time for yet another exclusive. Coming to y'all tonight, my special guest, the one, the only, Divine. Let's get that queen in here right now. Hey. He is right there. What is up? What's up? How are you? It's it's Friday. It's Friday. It's all yeah. like it's Friday. You know yeah, what? Right. It's been a hell of a week. I'm not gonna lie. Who are you telling? I ain't like. It's just been crazy this week. It started off good, and then the the, the last three days just seemed like things just went haywire. Tell me know. about it. Tell me about it. What happened? You know. I, I have to tell you about it when we get off the air. Because, <laughs> you know, nobody don't give a... No, they don't care about my personal uh, problems. They they here for you. That's what they here for. So I, I want to thank you so much for um, allowing us this amazing opportunity to hang out with you for a little while. Thank you. It's good to be here. Now, respectfully... How was your day today? It is Friday now. It is Friday. Mm -hmm. Respectfully, my day was awesome. You know, it's what you make it. So it was good. It was good. You can't, I mean, how can you have a bad Friday? Seriously. You know, I'm not even going to say it was a bad Friday. You know, mm -hmm. it's just, it's just like, you know, how um, things start off smooth sailing and then you mm -hmm. know it just seems like because you know on show days it's all it always it's always crazy on show days so it's a lot of preparation involved mm -hmm. a lot of prep work trying to make sure everything is right from the audio to all types of stuff especially when you got a guest like you coming on everybody's hitting your dm everybody emailing and stuff oh, oh she you know it, it, they just they just go crazy when they see you uh -huh. do you get that all the time never <laughs> Because <laughs> I'm looking like what what's 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 wrong? What the, what they going crazy? <laughs> now I know, I know. So um now this uh, okay, so you you originally let's let's start off. Well, you know what, before we dive into everything, because we got a lot to talk about, let's talk about um how 2020 took a turn. Um, and I would like to get your perspective on it because I'm sure you had a lot of things um, planned and in, in motion for 2020. Yeah. And then, you know, nobody seen this this coming. And then it just yeah. veers off the highway and just it, it never gets back on. Because, you know, sometimes when you drive in for distances and you, you know, kind of fall asleep a little bit. And, but they got the they got the, those rigids on the side of the road and you hit it and you go and you jump back up and you you back in effect again. You know what I'm saying? Right. It, it, it stayed off the road. It's still not back on the road. Yes. So I would like to know, right. like, um, your thoughts and your, your feelings on um, the, the turn of 2020. I mean, it, it sucks. You know, I mean, it definitely this whole, you know, COVID-19 situation just put so many people in a bind, you know, um, financially, a lot of people got put in a bind. And, you know, it just seemed like bad things one after the other just started happening just in the world in general. You know, right. I had a lot of bookings. Um, you know, I was asked to visit Africa actually, wow. and then that got canceled. Um, so just a lot of great once in a lifetime situations that happened to me um, ended up getting canceled because of, you know, COVID-19 and the situation that the world is in right now. So, you know, it's, it's 2020 sucks basically but you know i'm grateful there's still you know a lot to be blessed for you know but right and you I, know I, I like how you're being humble about it uh you know i can appreciate that deep thank you so much for <laughs> <laughs> we go we go we go down play it and, 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 and be up with it be humble with it or whatever but hit you though it definitely sucks man you know we you know you you can't get to the bag you know it, it's 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 just it's scary right now it's scary mm -hmm. right now. It really, really is. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, so many, so many people, um, you know, lost their lives in a rapid uh, fashion. It's just, it's devastating, you know, to, to look on the news every day to um, 
see the death tolls just just keep going up and going up and going up. You know what I mean? Right. You can't travel. I mean, some places you can travel, but you know, there's a lot of places that's like, uh, uh-uh, uh, you t- keep your American ass where you are. Don't come right. over here. You know. Right. So I mean, you know, just just the overall quality of life has been diminished by a great deal because of this thing. So, you right. know. Right. Now you you originally from the. Uh, DMV, Washington, um, D.C. area, and uh, now living in um, Atlanta. What, um, what, uh, what, 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 what made you want to move to the A? Listen, I got sick of the cost of living in the snow. Basically, right. <laughs> it's a <laughs> lot of snow. It's cold. I mean, you might have two good months of summer in the D.C. area. Other than that, you know, it's a little cold and chilly dealing with snow. So mainly the weather and and the cost of living. Right. I definitely get that. Um, You know, I I just me and cold weather just we just don't get along at all. I I like I like comfortable weather. I like to be comfortable. But then I do like. I do like to wear my winter gear though. It's crazy. I like to wear yes, my Tims you know. and, yes, and you know what I'm saying? The big jackets, you know, I, I just, I snow jackets and all that. I like this winter fashion. Did you I say, where are you from originally? Um, from um, Dallas. Okay, they wear Tims in Dallas? Of course. What? See, I thought Tims was an up north thing. No, no, we, 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 okay. you know, we don't do us like that now, uh, D now. Come on, now we we, we we up on the Thames. We up on the Thames too. Originally, originally from Louisiana, um, mm-hmm. so you know how uh, the good food and um, mm-hmm. pretty, pretty, pretty decent weather. Pretty decent. It gets pretty hot as well. Um, but um, I like. I, I I think I need to be from uh, Hawaii or, or or somewhere where the weather is just always pretty nice. You know, I, don't know, yeah. I don't know what my parents were thinking about. I just um I don't know. I gotta I gotta talk to my mom <laughs> talk to my moms about that man and see what happened. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. You know, um you know moving from um from Washington to Atlanta, that had to be a different experience though, um being in the A. Um what was that experience like um moving? Um moving from DC to Atlanta. Um, right. it was it was it was a it was a pretty simple transition. You know, Atlanta is is a very progressive city. Um, you know, a lot of African Americans doing their thing. So, you know, it was a it was a very easy transition. It's not like I'm going from, you know, one extreme to the other. So Right. Right. Yeah, nice. Now, um, you know, you 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 wear a lot of hats. Um, you know, and I I really was uh impressed with all of the hats that you're you're juggling, uh, that that was one of the things that that really did strike a major interest. Um, mm-hmm. You know, not to mention being beautiful, um, but on top of that, being a CEO, businesswoman, running your own brands, juggling brands. Um, you know, I, I just I just think that that it's absolutely dope um, to be able to to do that. You know, um, yeah. now. You uh, you also do, you know, you're a maverick in public speaking. Um, let's start there. What actually, uh, so, um, you know, first in the topics with uh, you dibbling uh, cyberbullying, dating, um, love and relationships. And also you are advocate for uh, women's empowerment too. What, um, what would you to um, take that, that career lane to um, add that on to uh, the resume? Um, it's just, you know, those are just topics that I'm passionate about. You know, I've always been a woman's woman or a girl's girl, a girly girl, um, you know, trying to uplift women as much as possible. Um, and also, you know, in terms of cyberbullying, I was bullied. Um, I'm old, so it wasn't cyberbullying back then. But, you know, <laughs> I was bullied as a kid. Um, my daughter was bullied as wait a, a kid. Wait a minute. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I don't want to cut you off. I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine. We got about that. What do you mean? You, I, I didn't pretty girls book that. You broke. You were breaking up. I didn't catch that. Can, can, can you hear me now? 
Yeah, yeah. It was like a little can stutter, like a okay. Like, can, can, can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah. You, yeah. You, you, I, I think I, I was doing a little mix. I was trying to give a little mix. <laughs> saying right quick, little, uh, little Friday. Mix. <laughs> <laughs> no, what I was saying was I just I, we got to touch on that for a minute because I, you know, I didn't know that the pretty girls got bullied like that. Oh, I wasn't a pretty girl growing up, though. So, yeah, I was an ugly duckling. Oh, growing no. up. No. Listen, I was a struggle kid growing up for real. I was physically challenged. I was physically challenged in all aspects growing up. <laughs> yes. Big Come time. I, I got to see one of them. I got to see one of them ugly ducks. But you know what they say though, the ugly duckling, the, they, the ugly ducklings always end up being um the ones that just stand out like that. I think that that, that little story, the uh that little that little cartoon, I remember that little cartoon. And mm -hmm. um it seems like it 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 it, it was real. It was real. Yeah, I mean, I was smart and I was funny, so I had that going for me. But you know, I was definitely um, physically challenged for sure. <laughs> physically challenged, I like that. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Um, now, being a uh, 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 let, let's start, you know being a dating expert, um, you know, uh, would you consider yourself a dating expert? Um, you know, self-proclaimed. I mean, I didn't go to school for it, just real life experiences. Um, all right. of my friends come to me for dating advice <laughs> and they tell me that it works. Right. So, you know, I don't know if that's considered an expert. I don't charge for that advice, you know, but right. I would say I'm knowledgeable in the in the topic. Right. Well, I mean, hey, you know, if, if you're giving out, uh, you know, legit advice that's actually effective, then I mean, I would consider that having an expertise in um, dating. I yeah, would say. I, prefer, I prefer dating guru, dating, you know, yeah, dating guru, maybe relationship guru. Okay. Yeah, relationship I like that. Guru. Yeah, all right. yeah all right. I mean, that. Well, we're, we're I'll be that. Yeah, I mean, that title might change. In a week or two, I don't know. Whatever I feel like being, I'm I'm gonna be. But you know, <laughs> but I mean, I got right. a lot of dating advice, and you know, after being on the show, I mean, wow, my inbox was flooded on a regular basis of people asking for advice, and then coming back saying, "Oh my gosh, that helped me so much." You got a tough time thank you i got my man back or i was able to walk away from my man so you know to tap myself wow. show myself on the back you know i've given some good well, advice you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna clap it up on that then we don't clap it up clap on it that up. yes give me a soul clap yeah now <laughs> let me ask you now speaking mm -hmm. of the show you know um I'm curious. I'm curious of um, how did you um, how, how did that come about? Can we talk about that a little? Um, getting on the show, how it came about. Yeah. Right. Um, well, I had a couple. I think, uh, you know, they actually pursued me. Um, I believe during the interview process, they'll ask you, uh, is there anyone that you would recommend for the show? So apparently my name came up quite a few times by people that auditions. So I ended up getting an inbox um, via Instagram saying, hey, we have this show. Your name has come up. You've been recommended for it. Um, is this something you would be interested in? And my first thought was uh, absolutely not. No, thank you. I'll pass. Hard pass at that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't watch uh, the first season, so I didn't really know anything about it. And um, then I said, well, let me see what's up. I'm single, super single, super duper, duper single, taking myself out on dates, going out, being a third wheel on dates with my girlfriends and their their dates. Um, so I said, you know, what do I have? To, let me look into it and um, went through the process and the rest is history. Now, it's funny that you say that now, because I want to I want to I want to stay there for a minute now. Oh. Um, and I would like to get your um, your your professional um 
opinion on this right here. Now, I, I, I find it, do, do you think, or maybe you can explain to me, why does it always seem like um, some of the most, uh, I would say, uh, most beautiful uh, women in the world, why are, uh, why are they um, mostly single, I'm finding? Could you answer that for me? Like, what, what do you what do you think it is? Because you would think that you know, um, yeah, it's the man. Go ahead, go ahead. I was I was about to say. Let me turn to the book of Revelations and try to find an answer to that ah. that I've been thinking for years. Um, I don't, you know, I think it has a lot to do with um, perception, initial perception, and mm. and stereotyping. Um, I don't get approached hardly ever if I'm out, you know, if I'm out at a club or a function, I'll get stared down, but it's very rare that a man will approach me. The guys that approach me are the guys that get told no, like 30, 33, 40 times a day. And you know, what's one more? No, you know, those are the guys that approach me, but if I'm out at a club, a lounge, party, gathering, an event, I'll get stared at, but I rarely get approached. And I actually wa walked up to a guy before and I said, hey, I noticed you're staring. Um, just curious why you didn't approach me. And he goes, well, you know, you just look like you got a man. There's no way that you're single. So I just figured that you have a man. And I said, no, I'm actually single. And he's like, what? Well, you must be crazy. You know, <laughs> so, you know, I think the perception wow. <laughs> is when you're, when you're attractive or you look like you have it together, the perception is you're already taken. Also, another perception is if you're together from head to toe, you may be deemed as high maintenance. You know, oh, she's high maintenance. She will not be down to go get a pizza and some wings. I'm going to have to take her, you know, to get Kobe beef every day, you know. Right. And uh, that with that, she's, she's too high maintenance. So, you know, or you get the one where, oh, she looks like she only dates athletes more doctors or lawyers, right. you know, so you get, or mm -hmm. you get put in a box. So, um, you know, and you get stereotypes. So, you know, guys are just kind of like, uh, or they think, oh, she might shoot me down. I just saw her shoot that guy down. So she'll probably shoot me down too. So, you know, it's hard. In so, these okay. <laughs> <laughs> now look, now, okay. Okay. Now, now let me ask you this. Okay, mm -hmm. you know, I'm 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 trying to help the situation here. You know, okay. um, you know, now what what is the I I'm not, I'm not the I that would be unreal. It's your type, like what what what's divine interest? What qualifies? I'm trying to help. I'm trying to help the situation. Help help people. My type, um, you know, it's I'm I'm so easy. I don't have like a checklist of, of 30 that, that checks off. I definitely like someone um charismatic, outgoing, um, uh, with a sense of humor, you know, then we can vibe off of each other. I'm not one for like a really shy, quiet, reserved, introverted guy, because he'll probably think I'm too much for him, you know. So someone a little bit outgoing, charismatic, fun. Um, a people person, because I'm super peopley, super peopley. So, you know, he has to be peopley as well. Um, I'm tall, so I would like him to be tall as well, you know. I'm 5'11". I'm 5'8 five, and a half. Okay. So with peoples, I'm like over, I'm six feet and, and over, you know. Right, and I don't right. want to look like, I'm, you know, with my nephew when we're out holding hands, looking uh, like I'm baby uh, uh, my nephew, so... <laughs> <laughs> like I'm a so little bit right here. Right. And then I like I like that feeling where you know you hug him and you just kind of like right up in his chest and you're not hunched over to hug him, you know. Right. So I like I like um tall guys. Definitely very important, somebody with you know proper grammar. You know, don't say Pacific or Amelan, you know, uh. or street across the street. <laughs> You know, you gotta be able to carry a conversation. Cross, cross the street, man. I'm about to go cross the street right quick. I'll be right back. Cross the street and get wow. some scripts and then have some strawberries. Yeah. And if something happens, yeah. call the land. You know, 
Wow. Oh, but, you yeah. know, articulate man. And then, you know, definitely self-sufficient. You know, please have a right. car. Please have a car. <laughs> and be able to put gas in that car. I don't ask for much, but damn. <laughs> right. So, right. you know, right. those things. Somebody that's equally yoked with myself. You know, someone that's right. well-traveled or loves to travel. So, someone I have things right. in common with. Mm -hmm. I, I I feel that right there. That that's definitely helpful. Uh, definitely some helpful tips right there. Uh, thank you so much for mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Now, um, also you know, proclaim food and fashion enthusiasts. Um, I would like to touch on that as well. You reading my bio? <laughs> you know, I'm actually briefing, uh, briefing through it, and I'm looking at it, and these are the things that that, that the, the stuff is standing out. Like, you know, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like, it's so many different things that um, yeah, yeah. That complete you. It's just amazing. Like, okay, so um, you know, the fashion, I definitely get that. I mean, I could tell. You know what I mean? That um, you you got that all the way together right there. Um. Anybody that follows you, um, they would know that. Mm -hmm. um, Thank now, you. The, um, being a food, um, food mm, yes, I love right? food. Okay, okay. So um, that would be all types of food. Like, are you the experimental, um, experimental type of food, or you just you you like what you like? I um I like what I like, and I'm I'm a self proclaimed chef. You know, so oh. I. Cook. Can cook too? Oh my, what? Can I get? Oh, and I mean, I do the Come plating. I do the plating and everything. You got to go through my Instagram. My Come Instagram on. stories. On my Instagram stories, it's a little tab, a little circle that says she cooks. That's like majority of the food that I cook. And uh, I can't tell you how many times I have been asked to do a cooking, a YouTube cooking show or a YouTube cooking station all the time every time i post it, one of my dishes so i love to cook i love to eat so definitely you know a fat girl living inside of me for sure oh uh, yeah I, I i i will um arrange something yeah Look, to, I, I, I have to be <laughs> judge of this the judge that okay we'll have to taste a dish to, your to see too. what it's really hidden Yes, yes, definitely. Now, um, this is this, you know, this is we, we got we adding this, we adding this on too, because you know, yet another thing that you um specialize in, you're also um a landscape photographer. Mm -hmm. I'm like like <laughs> like I'm saying, you know, are these are are these all things them who aspire to do or this were these were things that you just picked up um along the way in life yeah these are things that i picked up along the way in life i used to back in the day i used to shoot with film you know when we had film cameras before the digital right. camera age and i used to model so i used to shoot other models and then i just you know i'm not i'm not i don't really don't like shooting models per se but i really like shooting um, you know, life. I love abandoned buildings. I love shooting graffiti, um, buildings, bridges, um, flowers, animals, things like that. So those are the things that I like to shoot. Anything that's not really human, I like to shoot. So, right. you know, I've been told right. I have a really great eye. Um, so, you know, I'll be walking down the street and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's a good picture. And then, you know, I'll, I'll take a picture of it. So it's definitely a, a true passion of mine. Right. Mm -hmm. And 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 now the real estate game now, you know, you you heavy in the real estate game too, also licensed um in the real estate game too. Um now with that, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, now was was that something that you were inspiring to do, or yet that was another thing that you were like, you know what, I want put this under the belt to have this on it as well. I need, I want to master this too. Yeah. Um, not really. You know, I've been licensed for 20 years. I've had my real estate license for 20 years and I started out buying and flipping 
properties. Um, and I was right. working in corporate America doing extremely well, making a crazy, amazing living um, in sales. And then right after I would say 9-11 um, happened, you know, technology sales just kind of died. So I'm just like, okay, what kind of career should I transition into that's, you know, not suffering due to, you know, the situation and real estate seemed to be the best fit. So I went and got licensed and started working with developers and been licensed ever since. Wow. Now, you know, I find that that interesting too, you know, because, um, you know, with with being in the real estate game, um, can we talk about any to um, get in the field of work? Like, you know, at this time right now, um, would this be like a, a slow um, time right now in the business? Because like, you know, how promising is it in the real estate game? Because I know it could be really promising missing but then um it's scary that um what if you don't sell anything how does it work you know it's it's you know three words feast or famine it's pretty much that's pretty much what it boils down to and you know to be clear i'm i'm still in corporate america real estate is what i do on the side and been doing for you know full time for 10 years and then decide the past 10 years, but it is, the market is unbelievably amazing right now. You know, it's a shortage of uh, home on the market. So sellers can demand top dollar, full price, overpriced offers, you know, for their home because it's not much inventory out right now. So people right. think because of COVID um, and everything that's going on in the world that, you know, the market is slowed down. Mm -mm. It's, it's booming. Like, nothing is going on so you would say now would be the the really the best to actually try to in property i didn't hear you i'm sorry did you say you now would say so you would say now that yeah to invest in property right now um i would say it's more of a seller's market right now um buyers are going to pay top price yeah for it. It's not a lot of inventory right. on the market right now. So if you're looking to sell, definitely, yeah, now's a now's a good time for sure. Buying is challenging right now wow. because it's not it's not much. And people are scooping up properties left and right. Homes are on the market 30 days or less right now. Um so it's a seller's market right now. Wow. You know that's um I want to talk about um, the entertainment business a little bit um, just to get your take on um, the entertainment business, because, you know, it can be a little tricky being in the business, you know, with um, they, they that's a dominated um, industry. And, and um, I would like to talk about, like to get your take on being um a, a beautiful uh, woman in the industry, um, the difficulties that it can be or any any obstacles that you may have ran into in the entertainment business and ways that you protect yourself um, in the business. Um, well, I'm new to television, well, television, reality, television, um, entertainment, and but I've been in entertainment in the past. I've actually had a record deal and I was in a singing group. Um, so I've been in the music industry a long time ago. So that was a lot different than, you know, what's going on today in entertainment. The times have changed completely where, you know, you can blow up and make money managing yourself and, and not being signed just by, you know, having a lot of followers on Instagram or YouTube, you know. So the times have changed from back in the day with, you know, social media. But in terms of just overall entertainment, that's not really, I, I haven't had any issues in terms of, um, you know, any negative issues. One, one thing that definitely stands out to that question is, you know, social media backlash. You know, you have to be very careful of what you post, um, things you say, what you do, you're, you're, you're judged, you're criticized, you're under a microscope. 
I'm not used to that, you know? So that, that aspect of it is, is very challenging because, you know, I joke a lot and there's been a couple of times I've posted some, you know, things jokingly on my Instagram story. And next thing I know, I go to my inbox and I'm getting cursed out. I'm like, whoa, it was a joke. It was a joke. You know, right. So, you right. know, people don't people don't know you personally sometimes to know how you're joking. So you have to be mindful of a lot of things mm. um, now that you didn't have to be mindful of before because you're, you know, criticized, you're scrutinized, you're under a microscope. So that's the main challenge and difference um, and negative negative aspect of it that I've experienced. Right. Um, <clears throat> you know, I, I want to go back to um, to to relationships, um, being that you you know have experience in this in this field. Um, do you think that it's um, put your relationship online or it's good to protect um, some aspect of it in a relationship to not be as public? Um, with your relationship, if you want to say guard, you know, what's your opinion on that? That's a great question. Um, me personally, I'm very discreet with um, my relationships. And, you know, that was very difficult, you know, because here I am on a dating show um, with an overly publicized relationship. So definitely a huge challenge if you're someone that's you know, discreet, but I think, you know, it to each his own, you know, it works for some people. Um, I have a very close friend that's very public, you know, with her relationship and it works great for them. You know, I'm, I'm the type that I'm, I'm a little bit more laid back, a little bit discreet. I like to protect, um, my situation and protect, you know, kind of keep my relationship, you know, more personal, um, a little bit more, more sacred. You know, I don't like to, I'm okay with, you know, not hiding the fact of, of my relationship status most of the time. But, you know, the thing is, everybody isn't for you. You know what I mean? There's people out there that Absolutely. don't want to see you happy. And there's people out there that don't make it their full-time job to, you know, destroy your happiness. And the more access you give them, the easier it is to, to happen, you know? Right. So, um, you know, personally, I, you know, I'll, here and there, I'm for it. You know, I was in a situation with a man um, a few years back, and he wanted he wanted to be this branded couple, and you know, it was like an ultimatum to him. Like, I have to post them. You know, you don't make me your MTM, and I'm like, what? You're my, you know, real life my every man. day. I mean, like, don't you yeah. the MTM on the internet. You know, for what? So when I did. Wow. I mean, that's when all hell broke loose. Problems occurred. And, you know, I just think that the more access you give people to things that are, are sacred to you, then yeah, you, the you know, you you are. Pandora's box a, a little bit. So, you right. know, I, I like to keep those right. things close to a certain point. But on the flip side, I'm also the type of person that when I'm happy and in love, I like to shout it to the world also. You know what I mean? So, you know, I guess trying to find an even and happy medium to where you can be vocal and be overly happy and publicly happy, um, but at the same time protect your situation as well. If you can find an even medium, I think that would be the best the best bet. Right. Now, um, I like this. I like this space that we in right now. Um, I, 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 OK, so let me ask you this. Um, as far as you know, the importance of having support, um, your 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 spouse or your 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 partner, um, you know, having that support when um, you you may be um, trying to build something or or um, you know having some goals or something set or working something um, and really having um, that support from um, your partner, do you think that that's something that could majorly damage um, a relationship mentally? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, who doesn't want the support from, you know, their their significant other, their loved one? You know, it's, it's very important 
to have someone in your corner, you know, and I have a lot going on in terms of, of businesses and, you know, my man is going to have to support me. He's going to have to support me emotionally. He's going to have to give me oral support. You know, if I'm tired and I don't feel like watching this movie at 11 a.m. because I've been working all day, he's going to have to support me in, in that as well. So, you know, the lack of support can definitely be detrimental to any relationship. But, you know, you you also get back what you give. You know, you got to be a supporting woman to receive a supporting man as well. So it's definitely important. Right. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Long. Uh, that, that makes a lot of sense. I, I feel, totally feel um, the same way on that. Um, you know, now w when it comes down to um, social media and, mm -hmm. um, you know, I feel I feel like it's it's sort of a gift and a curse. I think I think that, um, you know, it, it, it has provided a lot of opportunities um uh, for so many different people who um uh, probably wouldn't have been able to um make those of opportunities with um being you know connected on such a global platform but i also feel like at the same time it has changed the world um as we know it it it, it has changed the world it has um allowed uh, a lot of disconnect and it had it also has um I feel like it, it has destroyed um, communi physical communication um, in a well, way. Yeah. Um, I, I just yeah. would, I would like to get your opinion on that. Yeah, I, I agree 100%. I agree 100% because, again, you know, the key word that I mentioned before is access. You know, you're giving right. hundreds or thousands and in some cases, ten thousands of people access to you, you know, and I mean, you can get social media you can get so caught up in it and it's 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 to a point where it's it's important it's a part of life i mean back in the day people would get up and listen to the radio or cut on the news or further back in the day read the newspaper you know and now the first thing they do right. is log on Facebook. you know most of us get our news exactly Facebook. If somebody dies, you hear it from Facebook. If there's some tea or gossip going on, you hear it from Facebook or Instagram or Twitter. You right. know, in heck, our president is, is on Twitter, got Twitter fingers. You know, so social media right. is a huge, you know, part of our life. And if you're a person like me with multiple social media accounts, um, you know, and that's how I do a lot of marketing and, and, and my business, I'm constantly like this. You know, right. so a lot of times you just have to take a break. You know, there's times I take social media breaks. I'll deactivate for a couple of days at a time just to reprogram into real life, you know. But um, sometimes you can get caught up and just and, and, and start drowning in the cyber world and kind of, you know, lose touch of, of what's going on in real life. And you can also, um, you know, start lacking on the attention that you're giving your partner as well because your your head down is in your phone. I mean, you go to a restaurant these days and you look around, the first thing people oh are doing, God. they're taking pictures of their, their food and they're putting it on social media. They're doing that before they bless the table. You know, that's how, that's how right, social media right, has such right. an impact on people's lives. And even if you're just at a restaurant, if you look around, You'll see a, most people at the table with their phones out. They're not engaging and talking to each other. You know, after they post a picture on their right. food, they're waiting to see how many likes they have from that food. You know, so right. it definitely right. has has um, hindered communication and and you know personal contact as well. So um, you know, it's just a situation where you just gotta take a breather and sit back and relax and realize, hey, let me get back and adjust to to real life and kind of step out of the cyber world for a minute. I have to do that frequently. Right. Mm -hmm. When it comes down to uh, when it comes down to kids, um, you know, it is sort of like a virus um, for the kids. I uh, personally feel yeah. like that, you know, uh, it is kind of changing the children um 
because it, it's like you know they don't really want to have the outside activity um anymore it's like they you know and, and if you deactivate them on the devices they're zombified you know they they you know what i mean they don't know what to do you know I, you know i'm just i'm just saying it's just it's it's, it's, it's weird to me you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying and, and it's like i i just do you think that you know time should be limited um with these devices when it comes down to the kids absolutely absolutely i mean that in video games i mean anything uh you know electronic devices social media definitely it should be limited i mean what what are that you know again it's the the access i mean the kids are leaving themselves you know access for predators you know they're opening themselves up to be cyber bullied they're opening themselves up to be influenced by you know the wrong individuals they're opening themselves up influenced and have that that need to fit in and you know i've seen young girls posting pictures you know side view shots and you know half dressed and they're doing right. it for likes and they're doing it for cloud and you know and it's it's just you know parents just need to keep a close eye on that and just instill in them you know what's real and what's what's not it's crazy right, out here right. mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah it, it 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 definitely is i definitely agree with right. you on that um mm -hmm. future future projects um and things that that we could possibly um look for in the future from you mm -hmm. right now my main focus is my business i am launching a cbd business uh it's called revive mm -hmm. wellness products and that's my baby right now that is has a majority of my focus so i am putting out cbd products that will include hair growth serum um, as well as CBD pain cream, CBD drops. And I don't know if you're familiar with the benefits of CBD, but CBD can pretty much alleviate anything. <laughs> I mean, anything from stress yeah. to anxiety to pain, um, arthritis, fibromyalgia, Parkinson's. I mean, you name it. CBD has has majority of, of benefits for tons and tons of, of ailments. So I'm really, really excited about that project. CBD business is booming. And, um, you know, I want a piece of the pie. So I'm, I'm excited about it. That's my focus, revivewellnessproducts.com. It'll be launching soon, September, October timeframe. So, you know, I'm, I'm looking so forward coming, to it. That, that means you coming back on here to uh, promote that, right? I mean, we already, that's already known already, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Look, I'm, I'm injecting myself. Yes. Injecting myself in the situation here of divine. Um, yes, we got to. Yeah, we got to. We got to. I want to, you know, get in on that promotional part of it to be able to um, come back on and promote Definitely. it and and uh, open up on the uh, advertisement part of it to uh help it to be uh that success that i know it's gonna be um Wonderful. also to um election um um i don't know how comfortable you are talking about that but i would like to uh, get your take on it it was a fan question they wanted to know um your your thoughts on um the current um situation and current candidates that we are that we're looking at right now <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, I just hope for the best. Um, right now, I think I just hope for the definitely be some. <laughs> Come on, Kanye. I'm rooting for Kanye. We need Kim Kardashian as the first lady. We need Kanye up in this White House. Come on, y'all. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just playing. But um, <laughs> if, if Kanye, if Kanye get in there, me and you need. The run. Yeah, man, listen, okay. <laughs> oh my god, you imagine. I'm, you know, it's I'm open, that point. I, it's I, open I, season I, at I, that point. We might as well run. Huh? I, I I'm not I, I I would vote for him. I would I would vote for him. I mean, like, but I'm just yeah. like I don't know, man. It's like, you know, what happens when that switch go off? Oof. What happened, Jay? I'm, I'm, I can I'm hang done. up. 
I'm too through, man. I like, mean, you real. done took your glasses off and everything. You yeah, know. I'm just like, I'm just too through with it, man. So, uh, what, what, you know, what can we look forward to uh, in the future? We said that, you know, um, we got the uh, CBD, right? Yes, yes. Okay, we got that coming. And um, anything else that we could look forward to? And my apologies, uh, everybody. Uh, thank y'all so much for hanging in there. Uh, we got a trooper. Divine is definitely a trooper here. You know what I mean? Uh, see what I'm thinking of the muscles. See what I'm saying? Flexing. And um, y'all, thank y'all for hanging in there with us or whatever. What else could we look forward to, though? Uh, you know, just me being me. Check me out on social media. I mean, I don't have any projects coming up. The projects that I had coming up has been canceled. Um, well, we got a show. We got you. You're not gonna tell them about the show we got coming up. What show do we have coming up? You, you don't know about the new show? But we, we, you, you didn't get the memo. So um, yeah. So um, okay. So now let's put the social platforms out there and uh, ways that people can uh, connect. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so IG is Agent Brown Eyes, just how it is. And Twitter is Agent Brown Eyes with a Z. And that's my two main ones right there. Agent Brown Eyes, you know I see So, uh, wait, wait. You, the, are you as brown for the record? Hmm? Are your eyes what? brown for the record? Yeah, they change colors. They get really, really dark or really, really light, like almost hazel sometimes. Weird. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I can look right and, through uh, And that's on all platforms. Yeah. That's on, Asian that's, that's on all uh, platforms. Uh-huh. That's okay. correct. And, and also, um, what was I about to tell you, too? Oh, let's give some quick shout outs real quick before we get off of here. Mm-hmm. Anybody you want to shout out and show some love to? No. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> shout out to my friends, fans, and family. Shout out to everybody. I'm a people person, so everybody gets love. Right, right. That's that's <laughs> that's that's what's so special about Divine, y'all. That's what I'm saying. Yes. Now, um, we definitely going to be looking forward to you coming back on here. Now, when can we expect this um, project to drop? You said around September? September, October time frame. Okay. okay. Yeah, I was initially slated to launch in August, but when I tell you, it's a lot of work. I'm formulating a lot of these projects from, from scratch, a lot of these products from scratch. So I'm what working with chemists. Huh? What you need help with? No, just the formalities. I mean, with with CBD, there's a lot of stuff you have to go through with the FDA. Um, so a lot, uh, just you know, making sure I'm in compliance, and that's a lot, a lot. So just working on that. I don't want to release something and get shut down, you know, because I am formulating exactly. these products; they're custom. Um, so I just want to make sure I'm in compliance and following the specific legal protocols per the FDA guidelines. So. Takes a little time. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, I want to um, thank you again for blessing the show. Thank with your you. Uh, thank thank you. you so much for the amazing opportunity. And for me, the Vibe team, um, the eSource team, we are wishing you more blessings and more success with everything that you're doing right now and everything that you are going to be doing in the future. Thank, thank you so you. much. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. It has been a pleasure. Absolutely. It's the Vibe Show 97.9 with my special, special, special guest, the one and only Divine. Am I saying it right? Yeah, Divine. Divine. It's the one and only Vibe Show 97.9.